Hi there. So while translations um, on a regular grid can be pretty simple because you're just sliding your image vertically or horizontally, um, when it comes to the isometric grid paper, a translation can still even be a little more tricky. It's just with the triangles, um, some of our spatial visual is getting a little thrown off. So I'm gonna show you the example here for uh, figure eight on how to translate this image where A translates to C, okay? So um, I am just gonna use this same picture that I had already traced over for my reflection because it's the same figure. And when they say that I'm taking A to C, that means that this point A is simply moving over to where the current point C is. And so a translation is just a slide, and that means I am just sliding point A over. Now, like I said, it does kind of seem like a simple move, but once you throw in the isometric grid and these triangles, it kind of throws off what we're looking at. And so that's why sometimes the patty paper really can be helpful, even for this type of movement. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to trace over the top of this so that I can transfer that image into my book. I've got my outline here and I see now that it has just moved over a little bit, right? So A was over here before and now this point is gonna be called A prime. So it's the original pre-image C, but now it's image of A prime. C prime ended up over here and this would be B prime, and this would be D prime. So the patty paper can work for any of these type of movements. Again, if we didn't use the patty paper, then I would just use the triangles to see how to move it over to the right. And so I could see that A was two triangles away from C, and so now B, if I didn't have that patty paper, I would just count one, two triangles, put my point B prime. For D, I would count over two triangles and put my D prime. Either way is absolutely fine. Um, the goal is not that you have to use patty paper or that you don't have to use patty paper. The goal is that you understand the movement and that you can see how the pre-image has been transformed into a new image. All right, thank you.